Six new golf courses are planned for a part of the state that is perhaps best known for open space and ranches. Part of unincorporated Weld County may soon be a destination for golfers across the country. And with golf, of course, comes water. Our Marshall Zellinger compares how one part of Colorado can move ahead with multiple new courses while another has put them to an end. There's a lot of dirt out here where the weeds tumble. Roggin, about an hour northeast of downtown Denver. This is where golf course developers are planning up to six new courses. They are going to have large areas of unmaintained. Uh, they're not. That's the whole idea of minimalist design. Ed Mates is the executive director of the Colorado Golf Association and the defender of Colorado's 236 golf courses as not being a drain on water. Golf uses less than 1%. Uh, of the state's water. As far as water goes, it's not a concern for me. Kevin Ross is a Republican Weld County commissioner, but the county has no power over the water that will be used for the golf courses. Weld County is not being wasteful, and, and, and quite frankly, water is a private property right. The golf course developers are buying the water rights from the ranch where the first course will be built. Eight different wells that currently provide 1,156 acre feet of water. That's what the golf course will also use, the equivalent of a year's worth of water for almost 3,500 homes. How is it that we're talking about watering up to six new golf courses here when in Aurora last year the city changed policies to restrict future golf courses because of water? This ranch is groundwater dependent. Um, that. Uh uh, there's only a certain life to that, and, and that can be problematic down the road. Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman led an effort last year to halt new golf courses and ornamental turfs to limit water usage. And even though Weld County has nothing to do with the water rights, Kaufman thinks the county planning department should intervene. I think that then, then uh, they should exercise their authority over and take a hard look at it. From this part of Colorado where you can see planes and planes, you can also see the nationwide marketing plan. The website for this new golf course development shows a simplified map without the tumbleweeds and dirt roads and a list of cities with direct flights to DIA before it shows the driving distance from areas up and down the front range. I have learned a lot about water today. So one of my questions was, if not for the ranch and if not for the golf course, what would happen to the water? It is not a free for all like Aurora could not claim the water to ease its water restrictions. Let me show you a map. The water rights are within the Lost Creek groundwater basin. That's the area shaded in blue. So if the ranch were to not use the water and if the golf developers did not buy the water rights, the water would only be available to the people within this area that have water rights. And what I've just said, Mark, is a very simplified version because any change to anyone's water rights would require state approval. So Kaufman wants Weld County to step in. What does Weld County say? Right, so I, after Kaufman told me that, I reached out to the Weld County Commissioner that I interviewed in the story, Kevin Ross, and, and he told me the county has no desire to limit the use of water, a private property right towards development, whether that be residential, commercial, industrial, or agricultural, saying we're not going to get involved in private rights. Well, it would certainly change that land, as you know, and you probably saw today. Right, visually, but I just want to be clear, like in Aurora, they were saying no, no, no places that weren't being watered, and then and suddenly being water new golf right. courses. This is an area that is using that water and it's going to use the same water for the golf course. Interesting. Marshall, thank you.